Hi, I'm Joe Pure with Remote Consulting. Today I'd like to show you SAP Predictive Analytics on HANA. In this example, we are the merchandising operations manager for a national drugstore chain. We've noticed a slow decline in allergy medication sales. So we are launching a new allergy product. We want to make sure our launch will be successful. So the first thing to do is find the right locations for our launch. So as we can see here, uh, we have our data and we can see that seasonal medication sales have been declining um, for the past uh, few years. We have five years of data here. We can then use SAP predictive analysis to take a look at our data set and determine the best locations to launch our new product. Here we have some data that comes from our loyalty card program. So we can see a bunch of demographic info for our customers based on city. So we can take a look at age, income, all kinds of data to determine the best place to launch our new product. We can also visualize this data in a number of ways. Um, in this case, we're taking a look at age. So the larger the um, font of the city name, the higher the average age in that city. The next step is to design the right plan for this product launch. So we're taking a look here at um, products that are uh, recorded by our loyalty card program. We want to take this data and correlate um, what products are actually sold uh, with our allergy medication typically. So in this case, we're going to run an analysis um, and we can see that. Uh, eye drops and allergy medication are typically sold with or together, uh, as well as tissues are also sold with those two products. So we can determine uh, a good campaign would be to actually give free tissues with uh, the purchase of this new allergy product to boost sales. So we can see this pink bubble here shows tissues and allergy medication, and there is a high correlation um, of those two products being purchased together based on our data. Uh, and so we're taking a very large volume of data here um, and analyzing that quickly to determine our best approach for launching this new product. And once again, we have our um, demographic data. So we've now determined the right locations, designed a plan, in which case we're going to um, actually give a free product to the customers to boost sales. Now we have to monitor our sales execution. So in this case, um, this would be an iPad view. So you can see in real time, wherever you are, uh, key metrics like sales and inventory level um, using this business intelligence uh, dashboard view. So let's say we're in day five of the launch here. And we can see that we have a store in red, and that's our New York store. So our target sales are um, much higher than our actual sales. We're falling below target. So in this case, we want to determine what's going on. So we can take a look here and see that inventory level uh, is sufficient, so it's not an out of stock problem. And we can also compare overall sales for that store and customer inflow and see that it's not a, an issue of not having enough customers in the store either. So now we're taking some additional data. We have a heat map for foot traffic based on uh, store data. So we've put this in the system and we can quickly visualize that our allergy display is not in a high traffic area. So that could be the cause of our uh, lower than expected sales. So in this case, we're going to actually correct this. So we can choose a couple of different accounts to actually push this data out to other people in our company. And we're going to add a task. We're going to tell them to move this to a higher traffic area. Once this is done, we can have whoever did that uh, upload a photo on their mobile device and send that to us to confirm the task was completed. And then we can visualize uh, our data again after this correction. So we can now see our store is green. We can see that our sales have gone up. So based on uh, this change in location of the allergy display, we now have uh, higher sales of that product. And we can also take a look at our dashboard uh, and see that, that trend as well. So what we've done here is based on large volumes of data, we've crunched that data in real time, come up with a good strategy for a new product launch, um, executed that strategy, analyzed the data in real time, 
and then corrected that based on some insufficient sales, and then once again visualized the data so we can see from our mobile device anywhere we are that we did indeed fix that problem. If you would like to see how your business can benefit from these solutions, please contact Sabrina Sigourney with Blue Marble Consulting. You can check out our website at simplesap.com or contact us at either of these two phone numbers right here. Thanks.